My brothers live pretty extraordinary, amazing lives. For four years, Brendan McDonough was as locked in time as the memories etched on these granite headstones. I was struggling a lot, making really poor decisions, and uh, that was not honoring them. You're famous for something that no one wants to be famous for. A town for the tragedy, Brendan for being the only survivor. I thought for so long, you know, the morning of June 30th, 2013, I'd never be better than that man. Structure one, Bravo 33 on the ground. But yeah, but it was a relatively small fire that day. The Granite Mountain Hotshot started working burnbacks on the southern flank of the Yarnell Hill Fire in the Weaver Mountains. You don't ever think it's going to be that day. He was assigned lookout as the team moved to the east to cut line and save homes. The biggest issue was the time frame of, of what we thought we had versus what had happened. This is the terrain they were dealing with, boulders and dense brambles. The wind did a 180, and Brendan had to leave his lookout. The fire hit a trigger point, which should have given the team a full hour to evacuate to their safe zone. Instead, flames came racing through the valley, trapping them in this box canyon in 12 minutes. It skipped like a, like a rock on the water. It just, it's just how fast it moved through that community. Cut off. We are preparing a deployment site. And I'll give you a call when we are under the, sh the shelters. All 19 men died. Yeah, that moment was devastating. Compl I mean, my world caved in. Instead of embracing the support, Brendan felt unworthy, suffocated. And I didn't want to ask for help. I had this whole world, you know, willing to support me through this tragedy, and I still couldn't find the willingness to be able to, you know, be who I needed to be. And all those resources at my hand, it still took years. He shut people out and fell on old habits to numb the pain. Here's, here's Brennan, this, you know, felon junkie that I say all the time that made it, and I'm asking God, why? Why, why couldn't you have just taken me? It didn't matter how much alcohol I used. I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. I couldn't drown it out. With nothing to lose, he gave therapy another try and found faith and a new fellowship in sobriety. My brothers wouldn't want me stuck living in that moment in a loop. And that gave you now six years sobriety you mm -hmm. just recently celebrated? Yeah. thank you. He wrote a book and was only six months sober when the movie came out in 2017. I remember just thinking to myself, like, God, let me just be sober for today on this red carpet. Like, let me just, in this moment, just today. And with each day came new clarity. And it brought such peace just to surrender. Just finding purpose again. When did it hit you that you could be for others what your brothers were for you? I'm still working on that. He's humble, of course. Here at Holdfast Recovery, which he helped start up, they've seen five years of success stories and new beginnings. Like, be worth their sacrifice. That's what I try and do every day. He's counting his blessings. Married four years with three kids, celebrating milestones and putting his goals in writing. January 1 uh -huh. of your year, 2023 yes. goals, one said, See if I have a future back in the fire service. What's that about? <laughs> um, I'm having to, to really do some soul searching in. I just, I don't want to not answer that question and I just want a closure on it. That's one piece that I haven't had a closure yet. He's finally made peace, giving himself grace and permission to live beyond that day, to honor the men who believed in him more than he did himself and taught him what it means to be a man and a father. They're not defined by that one day. And neither is he. What I can give is a lifetime of trying to serve others. And for me, that's, that's a life worth living.
And Brendan said it's become tradition to spend each June 30th doing something special with his family, something to create memories with them. And this year he plans to take them to the rodeo here in Prescott, which is the same thing he did with them last year. Nicole, um, he did speak here on stage briefly giving a prayer, but I remember him 10 years ago, and I know you were there for that initial memorial service as well. He got up on stage in front of then Vice President Biden and dignitaries in the eyes of the world watching, and I just remember him saying the words, I just miss my brothers. It was the most emotional and poignant mem uh, memory I have of that entire ceremony, so it's so good to see him uh, doing well. Uh, 10 years later and on your recommendation uh, we picked up a copy of his book and we listened to it and um, I would say if you are on a road trip this holiday weekend and you're looking to maybe pay tribute to these men learn more about them definitely pick up a copy of that book listen to it in the car read it on your own because I found his roller coaster story of him personally to be one thing but then learning so much about what hot shots go through on a daily basis all the fires they'd already gone to back in 2013 before they went to Yarnell, so uh, a fascinating read uh, on your recommendation. Absolutely, Jared, and um, when you talk about how he read the Hot Shots prayer um, today and then also at that initial memorial service, he told me uh, he was kind of going through the motions immediately afterwards when he did those initial interviews. He was trying to protect those families um, who lost their loved ones, and he said he was trying to shield them from having to get in front of the cameras, and he was like, this was one thing that I could do for my brother but he said he just felt numb. So thank goodness he's in a good place, um, sober and helping others find healing as well. It's kind of wild when you think about the 19 losses that we had there. I know you're going to be touching a little bit later on about uh, the loss of homes, one of the greatest losses of homes in state history because of the Arnold yep. fire as well. We'll check back in with you in just a little bit, Jared. Thank you. That's right, yeah, continue to burn